Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan 442 and this is Freely Creating Print Magazine. Uh, well, drop four. Uh, magazine 15. Magazine 15. We'll go with that. Magazine 15. Okay. So, what do we get this time? This is what we got this time. This is freaking massive. So, that is literally. I think that is the actual frame for the 3D printer. Uh, and, yeah, so we'll take a quick look to the book. See what we got, see what we got in here. Um, yeah, so, skip the first page, obviously. Why print in metal? Apparently, that's pretty cool, isn't it? You can print stuff in metal. In the early 1990s, 3D printing of metal became of age, apparently. You can actually do this, where you print 3D metal object, and that's quite incredible, isn't it? Um, it'd be always, it'd always be cool to be able to make your own pendants and things like that in metal and you know you can wear them and they're actually metal and you can varnish them up and all this kind of stuff that'd be pretty cool drafting in SketchUp so you could do drafts uh, apparently uh, I'm not fully sure what that means just yet uh, I think that means you could put objects behind it by the looks of this um, I'm not 100% sure uh, okay so yeah you can make a plan you can sketch it out and then you choose all the different sizes and stuff yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. You can actually see it all coming together through this, uh, through these pictures. Uh, I'm just skipping through them because I've got a big bit to install here. I've got a really big bit to install. Direct metal laser sintering. Well, that sounds incredible, doesn't it? That sounds dangerous as well. Uh, I'm not really sure what it means. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually print to 3D with this thing. Ah, look at this, mainframe. It's called the mainframe, and just that on itself sounds boss. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin the magazine up here. Oh, no, I just pressed a button. Is that? No, it's okay. It didn't stop my audio recording through my computer, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna open this off camera over here. I'm not gonna cut, because I'm pr professional. Like that. Um, yeah, if you can still hear me over this rustling of plastic, this thing is massive, as you can see, right here. Okay, we've got screws out. We've got two L bracket looking things. And that's all that was in that bag. But saying that that is all that was in that bag, this is a pretty hefty piece of metal. This will probably be worth more scrap value than the magazine cost. So, uh, so yeah, thanks guys for that. That's incredible. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I think this is the bottom down here. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't see that. Um, I'll put it this way. This down here is the bottom. Um, yeah, so. Just opening up these L brackets. We have two big L brackets here. Now there is a lot of assembly to do on this one, so I'm glad I say uh, kind of skipped through the magazine pretty quickly. Um, just cut these up, get them screws out. Okay, so now we have the screws. Um, uh, yeah, so. Um, what we're doing now is we will get the feet back, I suppose. I think it's the feet we need for this part. Uh, fix one of the L-shaped brackets over the three holes near the center of the left bottom plate. Well, this part is getting a bit complicated now. Uh, so that looks like it goes that way. And it just wants to move. Uh, there we go. Like that. Uh, you can see the feet are below, I believe. So it will be here, maybe? Something like that? Is that here? No. Here? No. Here. Yeah, I can see them three holes now. So there's the three holes there, there's three holes right here as well. Uh, and that looks to be the right place. Uh, so, yes, what we're doing is we are. I'm not 100% sure on this part. It's not perfectly clear, um, but we'll find out very soon if that is correct when I start screwing into it. 
Okay. I'm taking it all these screws are the same screws anyway, so it doesn't really matter which ones I use. Yep, yeah, they're all 41. Number 8. Number 8. Yeah, so. Here we go. Uh, we'll do this one up here top first. Okay, I'll unscrew that a little bit because it seems to be going the wrong way. And unfred, refred. There we go. I'll stop that there then. Uh, I will turn that one on its back, pick it up. Let's straighten that screw up and into the side. Here we go. Yes, this is good. So. Oh my god. I hope I got this in right. Because this is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to take back out. They don't seem to go very far into that thread. I'll tell you. It doesn't, it doesn't look un, un, entirely secure. It probably is perfectly secure. Cause, I mean, these are quite big, thick brackets. There's three screws holding it in. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm just tightening them two in, and then the middle one should just screw perfectly just in, because otherwise the other two, the other two wouldn't fit in if this one doesn't fit. I don't even know if you can see this. Can you see this? You can't see this. Oh, God. I'm so bad with cameras. Okay. Uh, <laughs> here we go. So, that seems to be that part. Um... Which is fine, that's good. Uh, <laughs> so, this is the left or the right foot. This was this one, it seems. I don't know if I have enough space on this desk for this. It looks like that will go there like that and screw it in. That was 33. But I am right with how it sits. So, yeah, that's cool. That goes into there like that. This is going to be pretty big. Uh, <laughs> this is actually going to be bigger than I thought. I might have to get a bit more space. Uh, or another desk or something for this thing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll just screw one of these in. Uh, and yeah, I will actually just screw two of these in for now and then I'll do the rest of that off cam because it's probably getting a bit boring just watching me screw screws in. That's fine for now on that side. Uh, we'll take this down. So yeah, that seems to go that side. This would go this side like this. It must do, there's nowhere else that would go. There's nowhere else it could go. Um, so yeah. I suppose that makes it all better, knowing that there's nowhere else for it to go. Because I can't be messing it up if there's literally no logical place for that to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, see, so yeah, I'll tighten this up a little bit. I'll do this one as well. So I'll turn this on here like this. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, this is a uh, you should you should feel this. I suppose if you bought one or whatever you you would be able to feel this. But it is solid, more solid than, than solid metal. Well, it's, it's as solid as solid metal. Could be, because it, well, it is solid metal. Okay, so that's them, that's this part screwed on. That is on there like a, like a brick. That is not moving. Okay, um, yeah, so I'll move that over this side. Okay, let's lift this over here. 
okay just these three pieces of metal are pretty heavy now so uh, yeah that goes in here and uh, I don't know if you can see that properly you can't even see that properly really because it's too big for the screen uh, but this is what it will look like from the bottom I suppose uh, and then we need some plastic bits to go over the top and yeah we have ourselves the footing of a 3d printer here right now this is insane because uh, you're actually getting to see what it might actually look like very soon um, it doesn't look there is quite a bit left I'm not gonna lie about that but that it doesn't look like there's that much left it seems like four months is one folder so I think this other folder that we've got now is for the next four months I think there's six folders in total so it's going to be a fair bit of time until I get this thing completed. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to leave it here. I'm not going to screw the whole thing together and show you how to do it because this is how you screw it together. I don't want to bore you, Steph. Um, yeah, so don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. I don't know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Nathan42. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to come back for the next one, guys.